Hello, Abraham. Yeah. First time conference, so glad yeah. to be in the hot seat. Yeah. I wanted to go into a deeper discussion about the vortex, and my understanding of it is that when I have a specific desire, it goes into this sort of soup, and it mixes with other specific desires. And so what comes out of that, the totality of the vortex is more than its parts. So what comes out of that could be something that I don't expect, yet it's the complete gestalt of all of my desires. Is that a correct understanding? There are parts of it that are absolutely accurate. There are a couple of things that we want to add a little clarification about. When you said a specific desire that I'm putting into the vortex, your vortex is made up mostly of unspecific desires. They become specific as they gather momentum. The vortex contains a powerful basis, or you might say essence, of every specific desire that you consciously are aware of. But it's not because you specified and put it there. It's because you generalized and it became specific and then you received it. Right, so it's... Wait, don't say right so easily. Make sure you got that. That was big. That was big. That was really big. Repeat it back to us. Since the, no. <laughs> what you're saying is that you cause a desire to go in, but it's in its essence. It's not necessarily the specific desire. It's the essence of that desire that you're looking for. It's the why you want it that you've exactly. been putting in all of your life experience. But you've also then been living life and acknowledging other things that you prefer. And all of your preferences are considered and law of attraction is bringing them to very specific probabilities that will thrill you when you allow them. But your attention to the specifics, which you don't understand, often prevents you from getting them. Exactly. That was big. It was very big. And most of you didn't like it very much. And so we want to clarify just a little bit. We've been saying for a while that everything that everyone wants, they want it because they believe in the having of it, they will feel better. So, for example, if you're rude to someone, it feels awful. And in the being rude, you create a focal point of being the loving being that you really are. And in fact, the more rude you are, the more love you crave or ask for. When you're confused, you want clarity. When you're unsure, you want stability. When you are lost, you want to be found. When you don't have enough money, you want more money. All of these things that happen all day long are causing you to create this vibrational, you called it a soup, we like that, of desire, of intentions. And law of attraction is gathering all of those cooperative components together. Now, something else, we've never said this to anyone before, something else that is happening. When life causes you to know what you don't want, which causes you to ask for what you do want. Your inner being, who is pure positive energy, who is infinite intelligence, who knows everything about the becoming of you, not the having become of you, the becoming of you, can vibrationally fast forward to a very clear picture of the fulfillment of everything that you're asking for. Can you imagine that in a Petri dish or an environment of no resistance, how fast your desires can become a reality. The things that you are asking for are shaping up to be magnificent things that you can't see yet because you haven't achieved the vibrational acuity to receive the picture that your inner being has about it. But as you get on the bead of it, as you get on the frequency of it, then you get to begin to watch what you created coming into being right before your eyes. What's unknown to you is known by your inner being. Now let's go back to what we said several times today already. When you are experiencing the absence of something you want, the presence of what you want takes form. But you can't see the presence of it because you're focused upon the absence of it. When life shows you a problem, you create a solution, but you can't see the solution. But that doesn't mean it isn't there. And that doesn't mean that your inner being doesn't know that it's there. We can turn this into more positive sound. What it does mean is that what you're asking for is in the state of becoming. And that's just a given. You don't know it's a given. We keep telling you it's a given because we see it. So for us, it is a given. Things that you want are a given. 
you just got to stop focusing upon their absence in order for them to come into awareness or perspective for you. We're way out there, friends. And if you followed us, you're as far on the leading edge as any human has ever been. So what we're really talking about, and we'll hear you in a moment, what we're really talking about is the relationship between you, the creator, and you, the creator. We're talking about the different parts that we are all playing in each other's experience for the creation of all of this. When you know you don't want it, here it is. When you are experiencing the absence of something, you feel empty about something. It's opposite is created in that moment, which is so new unto the universe that you couldn't possibly recognize it. It's in the very, very early stages, but source knows, source sees, source tends to it, source focuses upon it, source knows it and continues to know it until you know it. And when you know it, then it manifests and everyone gets to know it. So the arguments in your government and the arguments around the world and the wars and the hatred, can you imagine the solutions that that is creating? Can you imagine what source knows? And when you watch the television, which one of those are you part of? Are you adding more? What are you goosing up? Are you goosing up more of the problem? Well, no problem to goose up the problem because you can't goose up the problem without goosing up the solution. But how long do you intend to reside in this physical body void of the solution that you have created? When you get it that with all of this that you don't want, you're creating something that you do want. And you don't have to wait for the others to come around to understanding it. You can go right there now. You can find the solutions, you can find the peace, you can find the love, you can find the knowing, you can find the clarity, you can find the stability, you can find the fun. You can find it right here, right now, you see.